Well, today's video is actually going to be a little bit different. I'm not shopping. I'm just browsing. I'm covering the shop for my friends James and Jess at their shop, James and Jess's House of Goods in Waynesboro. It's raining, but... Celluloid monkey, and of course the, the boudoir doll. I love that she's wearing a pantsuit. Normally they're wearing a dress. So they have other vendors in here, um, some handmade, some vintage. This guy's pretty awesome. There's a piece in here, where to go? I've been eyeing it for a long time. Did it sell? Am I crazy? <laughs> well, dang, it actually looked like it sold. It was a really unique bowl. It had like white dots on the side. Now these are awesome too. These light fixtures, ceramic, so amazing. I've never seen them all in one piece like this. Basket purse, $18, that's a really good price too. And the lining's in really good condition. I love that old bird cage. I used to have one of those, uh, not as big, but at my old house, put weird stuff in it. <laughs> I have this book. This is actually the best book if you have a Volkswagen. Um, I've literally been stranded on the side of the road and pulled this thing out and figured it out in very simple steps how to get back on the road. This is actually the best book if you have a Volkswagen. I have this. Um, I have definitely been stranded on the road before and pulled over, whipped this book out, and been able to fix my car by myself, which is pretty impressive considering I am far from a mechanic. All the old stock Kentucky Fried Chicken, so awesome. I actually got a really amazing um, button-down shirt from them from the 50s, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Love this bag. <laughs> Oh, and I love the old ice cream hat. That's the first time I've noticed that. This is such a great side table. Love that color of turquoise. They just put this uh, enclosure up. I think it's so amazing. It's huge. Makes me nervous. Whoa, that's new. Oh man, cows. That's a really hot subject. It's pretty hard to find these um, normally the antique artwork with the cows go for a lot more that is amazing uh, there's a bit of a glare here but in person it's like super rich and vivid and those dog bookends those are so fun Oh, this is great too. This is a Nesco. I love these uh, lady vases. I've never seen this one. 23 bucks, I'd buy that. This is super pretty too. Westmoreland, the cats. No shortage of green. I bet if you took a black light to this section, it would light up like a Christmas tree. Oh, this custard glass, wow, that is so pretty. Now these are awesome. These juice glasses. Absolutely amazing. Slag hanging. Slag swag. <laughs> and this bench. Oh my gosh. That thing is epic. It's like in perfect condition. And this mirror is amazing. I actually have a larger one that's the exact same. Mine's like my favorite thing ever. I almost, uh, when they brought them in, I kind of wanted to get both of them. Here's another really neat piece. I love this. 
this is kind of different too. I've been kind of eyeing this. And that is amazing. I love the girl on that. Okay, so this is pretty awesome. They took old bread, bed springs and tied all these old vintage ornaments onto it. If this isn't inspiring, I'm not sure what is. I would love to do this in my house. I think it's the coolest idea. Definitely a lot of time and energy went into this though, which I'm not sure I'd be <laughs> as committal. <laughs> But also this, that's amazing. And these boxes, these paper boxes, I always like these. I picked these up a few times. I usually pick them up if they have like cats or really strange graphics. I got one that was Santa Claus and cats. It was so epic. I guess we will go into the kitchen section. These popcorn bags, I absolutely love these. I would love to have just like a big frame of all these. There's the sour cream glasses again. I'm still mad I pissed, passed those up at uh, Fayetteville that one time. Love the caddy. Yeah, they have so amazing, so many amazing glasses sets. Oh, oh, uh oh, what's this one? Oh, I didn't even see these. Oh, wow. I know there's just some more. This one's red. Oh, this is like one of my favorite styles with the Starburst. Tobacco. I've gotten my dad some really neat gifts from this section. A lot of amazing tobacco. Oh, and these risque ashtrays, these are so fun. <laughs> How much is this one? 15, that's about what I sell them for too. <laughs> oh, so good, what is this? Interesting. So many tins. I'm looking, oh. oh my gosh, this is a really good one. That's super good price. Oh, cartons, those are amazing. Could do something really cool with all these. Planters galore. Look at all this. Oh my gosh. This, this is something I don't see every day and definitely not in pink when I do. That's awesome. Love this one too, the stripes. Royal Copley, Shawnee, so many good ones. Oh, there's the little drummer boy. I just had the girl, I got so excited when I found it. This leprechaun, this, I cannot believe this is still here. I, it's Samson Imports, it's only $12, which is incredibly cheap. Leprechauns are hard to find. This is probably my favorite sign in the whole place. I mean, there's really nothing to say. It's just so freaking epic. Lots of religious items. There's some great religious items. I'm gonna go in there and take a better look. Oh, that print is amazing. This, so uh, what is this? Oh my gosh, I love these. Now, if I was out in the wild, I would 
buy both of these for sure. And I'd probably keep one, to be honest. I'd probably keep this one. It's a little religious art. I have a collection of stuff like this in my room. Pony bank. Another one of my favorites, this Kreis. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, this Kreis is one of my favorites too for my new mink. <laughs> so funny. More trinkets, trinkets galore. What was I looking for? I can't even remember. Siamese cats, those are awesome. Here it is. These guys, these are pretty hard to find. 16 for the pair is a really good price. Cookie jars. Yeah, their window displays are always so awesome. I'm gonna do a whole pan around now that it stopped raining. Outside, oh, so adorable. Another one of my favorite things. Just be the cat purse. Here's another pretty epic thing, this little beaded cat coin purse. So I've been pretty vocal about how bad I am at maintaining my space in my booth. Um, but I did promise I'd show it when it was done and I decided it was probably never gonna be done because Running a booth is actually very hard and not for the lighthearted. <laughs> um, but here it is. So a lot of this stuff, I mean, I'd say 90% of everything is cross posted. It's kind of like overflow. Yes, I know I have a pink display case. It's pretty epic. But whenever I get like larger things that I can't or don't want to, I should say, sell online, I bring them in here. This is pretty amazing. This thing is amazing too. I have a, a clown one in my personal collection. He melted a little, so, and he does plug in and move. It's actually somewhat horrific. And then the chalkwork geisha statue, that's one of my favorite things too. Um, I kinda, I, I'd say like once every couple months I think about bringing her home. It's just kind of chaotic. <laughs> it's like poodle painting and accordions, you know? Um, but at the end of the day, that's kind of my energy. So uh, I just started putting clothes out. I gotta bring a couple more things in that I had something sell the other day. I got an empty hangers up there. But, but yeah, there it is. I promised I would, so. I did. It's kind of messy, kind of chaotic, kind of fun, which is really kind of me. And uh, now I guess I'm gonna get back to work.